What's up guys, this is Kitty Cloudy and Apple just dropped iPad OS 14 for all iPads starting from the iPad Air 2 from 2014 and the iPad mini 4 from 2015 all the way up to the latest iPad Pros and they have packed some very neat changes and UI improvements and if you want to download it right now without a developer account you can go into the first link in the description download the iPad OS beta profile click yes and yes and a couple of taps later you'll be downloading and installing the iPad OS beta on your device right now and as you can see I have already loaded it up on my iPad mini 5th gen so yeah without further ado let's check out the new features and improvements in iPad OS 14. Now feature wise there are mostly UI changes system wide and obviously you get the new widgets and smart stack which only live in the today view and cannot be dragged onto the main home screen unlike iPhones which is interesting and furthermore you don't even get the app library feature here on the iPad as well. Nevertheless I still find the UIs of the new widgets very very clean and more and more apps need to update their widgets to make the best use out of it. And this design refinement trend is across all the system as well and it feels like the iPad is replicating the Mac UX more and more. There are cleaner sidebars without any lines across multiple system apps like Photos, Notes and the Files app. And the Apple Music app also has a high DPI UI update with more info and that beautiful full screen lyrics page just like the Mac. And the next feature is called Search. For some reason they are not calling it Spotlight anymore. And it's just now a floating search bar and kind of looks like that of the Mac and if you have a keyboard attached you can pull it up and search from any app using the command space keyboard shortcut. Siri also applies a similar UI approach and all of its responses and actions are cleanly shown in the lower right corner instead of taking the entire screen. Also similarly if you get a new call it'll show up as a toast which can be directly dealt with or ignored just like that. There are also a bunch of additions to iMessage which I don't use and also Apple Maps which are just not available in India and by far the biggest additions to iPad OS include the Apple Pencil like writing onto any text field called Scribble and treating handwritten text like typed text. So that's good but I don't think this will work on third party styluses or pencils which is a bummer and the iPad mini isn't super ideal to take notes but if you own an Apple Pencil you're totally in for a treat with iPad OS 14. So yeah, that's basically it with iPad OS 14. Very clean, minimal changes and improvements, very sweet additions to the existing clean iPad OS experience. And personally, I haven't found any bugs. The experience has been really good overall, except for the fact that Twitter links and image previews don't show up, which is weird. But yeah, apart from that, it's pretty much stable. And if you want, you can use it as your daily driver. But then again, it's a beta, it's not meant to be used on a daily device, so yeah, know your risks. But yeah, that's basically it from my side. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.